Hey, my name is Sean, and I'm an artist instructor with DaVinci Eye. Today we're going to be drawing an adorable panda. I'll be drawing this on my tablet for you to easily see, but feel free to use a pencil and paper. You can also follow along with this tutorial step by step using DaVinci Eye for iOS and Android, the app which you trace along with my drawings to help become more confident and understand exactly what I do. So let's do this. Remember to start out light, so using little pressure with the pencil, draw three trapezoids in the shape of a tree. Now starting with the top, I like to give my panda a pear-shaped face. For this guy, I'm also going to add some tufts of fur on the top of the head. Next we put in the ears and color them in real quick, a triangle nose and two small oval eyes. Now we take the nose and extend out the mouth and muzzle. We're aiming to have the muzzle extend up and form the characteristic black fur around the eyes. Don't hesitate to erase your eyes and place them in a different spot. I do this all the time. Before we move into the second section, we need to give the panda some bamboo to eat. Since the panda is actively eating, we can assume the bamboo will be broken partly in half. Hence, we should make one side of the bamboo more slanted than the other. I also put in some leaves to make it read better to the eye. Now that we have the bamboo, this indicates where the paw grabbing it needs to be. We can also extend the shoulder down to the arm and add a second line coming down from the hand. Make sure to erase any overlap while we're here. For the other arm, I had mine more relaxed. The biggest thing to remember here is to stay mostly within your trapezoid section. It's okay if the arm extends a bit past like mine does, but don't go as far as to hit the ground. For the third section, we put in two paws that are facing towards you. That way you can put in the toes and padding underneath. Finally, put a slightly curved line between the two feet to connect everything. Now here's the fun part, coloring in and cleaning up. As you can see, the panda has a very distinct coat patterning. As a final note, I always like to add in some environment. So here I give the panda some ground to sit on and do some abstract lines to show bamboo growing behind them. I use an oval to show the segments of the bamboo, but I'm not trying to add too much detail or pushing the pencil in too hard. The background is there to enhance the character, not distract from them. And of course, don't forget to sign your art. If you want to find more of my artwork, follow me on Instagram at phoenix.animations. Be sure to check out the DaVinci Eye app as well as subscribe here for more tutorials. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.